Mr. Gober receives an amazing moment in the Witcher season, three thanks to fire magic, which completes a clever book alteration that started in the Witcher season one. There are several differences between The Witcher on Netflix and the books, including this clever Strigober tweak that culminates in his spectacular fire magic moment in The Witcher Season 3, Volume 2. Strigober is one of The Witcher's most devious characters, and his opposition of Geralt and Yennefer is hardly veiled. Strigober seems to oppose the heroes at every turn, but his big moment in The Witcher season three changes the dynamic of his character substantially and how the viewers perceive him. While Strigober starts The Witcher off on a very similar trajectory to that of the books, his role changes more and more as the show carries on. The Witcher has made a lot of divisive changes to the books, resulting in things like The Witcher's confusing timeline but the changes made to Strigober's character actually make him a much more interesting antagonist and a well-rounded character. Season 3 has also given Strigober several iconic moments too, including when he decides to use fire magic to hold off the Skoya tail and allow his fellow mages to escape the coop on Thand. The biggest difference between Strigober in the show compared to the books is that Strigober's role in the show is much bigger and more important. In the show, Strigober is an influential member of the Brotherhood of Sorcerers who is intimately involved in the politics of the continent. Although Strigober is arrogant and misguided in the books, he also doesn't appear to have the same villainous streak that's emphasized in the show. Notably, he is never suspected of being the one supporting Reance in the books. Strigover only appears in one book in the Witcher novel series, The Last Wish. In The Last Wish, Strigover urges Geralt to choose the lesser evil and kill Renfri, as he does in the show. However, after Geralt kills Renfri in the book, Strigover returns to Cover and does not reappear in the story. He is not mentioned as being on Thand when the coup occurs, so he obviously does not use fire magic to take on the Skoyatel. Strigober's big moment comes in The Witcher Season 3's ending when he uses fire magic to hold off the Skoyatel and allow his fellow mages to escape. This epic scene pays off The Witcher's decision to make Strigober into a bigger character by giving him an overall purpose. Strigober definitely does some terrible things in the show, even if he's not the one backing Rance as Geralt initially suspected. So this big moment can serve as a modicum of redemption for the cruel mage. With this scene in mind, the decision to keep Strigober around actually made him into a better character. The Witcher's use of Strigober expanded his character, providing new layers to the sorcerer, and giving him a broader purpose in the overall show. It also allowed the Witcher to use Strigober as a decoy for Vilgeforts and build suspense for fans who have not read the books. It definitely wasn't a necessary change, but contrary to many of the Witcher's creative liberties, this one made the show better. Strigober almost certainly died in The Witcher Season 3 when he stayed behind to fight the Skoyatel with fire magic. His death isn't shown on screen, but it is strongly implied that he was preparing to draw enough fire magic to kill himself and the Skoya tail pursuing the mages. Fire magic consumes, and Streakover was clearly drawing as much as he could, which would kill anyone. Moreover, the room they fight in on Thand is utterly destroyed when Streakover is done so it's difficult to imagine anyone could have survived that without an extremely powerful magical shield. Since Strigober was focusing all his energy on the fire, there is no way he could also have shielded himself, so he definitely died in the inferno. Even if he could have created a shield, drawing that much fire would have still burned him from the inside out. Strigober's final deed is partially redeeming, because he was aware of the cost he would incur when he pulled so much fire into himself. Even though he died defending others, it doesn't make up for the terrible things he committed on The Witcher.